you cannot even articulate how much you love your own child. Wouldn't you say that's true, parents? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Just if you try, imagine the love you have for a pet, like a dog or a cat, okay? And then just multiply that love by 0. 0.7. <laughs> and divide that by 10. Please put your hands together and have fun with Lori Kilmartin, everybody. How are you, crowd? Good. My name is Lori Kilmartin. I have one son, and he just turned six years old. I've been a stand-up comic since uh, 87. I'm old, and um, you can do your own math. I'm not telling you how old I am. You know what? Bring out your own calculator. I'm not giving it to you. Just so you know, I'm wearing Spanx. I got it under control. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is tight. Uh, I have about three minutes of air left, so. I did comedy for a long time before I had a kid, and I wasn't going to have kids. So all the comedy I did was very anti-child and uh, anti-mother. And now karmically, I, you know, I've, been, I've been served. <laughs> I got pregnant by accident when I was 40. <laughs> My friends were like, what did you use for birth control? I was like, my age? <laughs> when does this party end down here? <laughs> when my son was a baby, he cried constantly in colic. And uh, my boyfriend and I were on opposite nights on something called sleep detail, which is where one of us would stay with our baby all night while he screamed. So one night I hear my boyfriend and his night shout, I'm gonna throw the goddamn baby out the window. And I ran to the baby's room. I'm like, oh my gosh, give him to me. I'll throw him out the window. <laughs> You're tired, you can hit the wall. And then we'll have to raise an idiot, but I'm rested, let's do this. <laughs> you guys, I'm kidding. Everyone relax. I feel like the parents are laughing that people without kids are horrified. Oh my God. You'll know what it's like. I hope you all get pregnant tonight, you bastards. That's my version of F you now, as I go, I hope you get pregnant. It's like the worst thing I can say to somebody. It is my personal hex, I hope you have a baby. Welcome to my hell. No guys, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's great. The worst is I'm so tired and it's never gonna end. I, I just got depressed recently when I was like, oh, this will never stop. Like every age is horrible in a different way. So you, you leave behind one thing like, oh, they can, they can take a crap by themselves. But then there, there's another thing where, you know, they'll take a crap on purpose uh, in a playground because they think it's funny, you know, like, um, so it's, it's all, always awful in a different way every day. That's my inspirational message to moms. When my son was four, that was horrible too. Four-year-old, they shout every single word they say. They're like teeny tiny elderly people. <laughs> like we were flying and a plane, and my kid had the uh, obviously in a plane. Okay, uh, my kid, my kid had the 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 window seat. He's looking out the window as the plane takes off, and he starts shouting, "Clouds, mom! Clouds! Clouds, mom!" Just over and over again for about three minutes straight. All right, and the plane starts looking at me. And after a while, a friend says to his other friend, right in front of me, he goes, oh my God, could that kid be any louder? And they snapped. I go, yeah, yeah, he can. <laughs> would you like me to make that happen? Because all I would have to do is close my kid's window shade. Like, if you think clouds is loud, wait till you hear no clouds. <laughs> We are four minutes into a six hour flight. You wanna dance, bitch? Okay, let's go. I'll make it rain. <laughs> I tell him the pilot is a monster. And I will hide his Thomas the Tank Engine. This will be the longest flight of your goddamn life. Oh my God, my kid, uh, so he's six now. We, I already had to talk to him about masturbation etiquette. I was like, please do not knock on mom's door when she's masturbating. <laughs> That's my time. When mom's bed is a rockin', get your own apple juice. That's the rule in the house, guys. That's the rule in the house. There's a lot of people that aren't parents, and I, I used to be that person, so I know what it's like to be like, oh, I don't want to hear about your kid for nine hours straight, you know? 
so I do alternate, uh, like I'll do a, a, some stuff about my kid and then I'll do some dick jokes and then my kid and then some ass jokes. Like as long as you alternate child material with genital material, an audience will be satisfied overall. It's about compromise. Boys are the worst, though. Boys, uh, girls are crazy. I'm glad I had a boy, though, because girls are crazy. Girls have like 5,000 motions. Boys have three, and two of those are erection-related. <laughs> I didn't know whether or not to circumcise my son. You know, the doctor wanted me to. He said, well, you should because the penis is easier to clean if you remove the foreskin. And I was like, oh, uh, I'm sorry. I, uh, I didn't realize that penises were difficult to clean. I mean, I don't have one, but it seems like a straight shot from stem to stern, correct? If anyone who should be complaining about difficult to clean genitals, it's us. We've got nooks and crannies and secret rooms and Scooby-Doo walls, and yet we're in there every morning scrubbing away. Honestly, how lazy are you guys that you'd rather cut part of it off than clean it? You can't wake up five minutes earlier to clean your genitals. You're that busy and important, really? Guess what, you're not. <laughs> and guess what, I've never heard of a guy complaining that his penis was dirty. And my, my entire life of dating, oh, I love to stick it in you, but it's filthy tonight. <laughs> it's covered in rocks and starfish. <laughs> Listen, if you had a kid when you were young, do not have one when you're old. Like, get out. Like, have it and move. Don't, like, ruin your whole life. Just ruin, just ruin your 20s and 30s, you know? Then you have your 40s. Like, you could be my age and just be the biggest slut in the world. Like, you're so lucky. I can't go out and do anything, you know? I'm doomed. My son's father and I, we're not together. Uh, he cheated on me. I found emails from the other woman. One of the emails said, you have a handsome penis. I was like, oh my God, he's cheating on me with a blind woman. <laughs> you know what the, it was weird is I, I would tell my female friends you cheated and they would all respond to like, they would say something like, oh sweetie, I'm sorry, that's terrible. Then I would tell my male friends he cheated and they also responded to like, but it was always something like, how'd you find out? <laughs> <laughs> well, I hacked into his computer. How'd you figure out his password? <laughs> it was his name. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> all right, that's it for me, you guys. Thanks a lot, good night. You've been a great crowd. Hi, this is Lori Kilmartin. I just finished performing. I know it was great. There's no need to tell me again. Like, 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 I get it.